Okay, let's explore this, this support department cost allocation problem. We've got Montclair Tours, and they provide guided education tours to college alumni associations. The company is divided into two operating divisions. So we've got domestic tours and world tours. Okay, and they also have support departments, administration and, in, and information technology. Now, we have some information that's provided in this table. Let's take a look at the first requirement. It asks us to determine the total overhead cost of the operating departments, meaning domestic and world tours, after the support department cost of the administration and information technology have been allocated using three methods. So let's first explore the direct method. And I've got this staged over here. All right, so we've got a million three of department overhead costs that are already budgeted before interdepartment cost allocation. So that comes from right here, right? They already told us there's a budget for a million three for domestic tours, and there's a budget of a million eight forty for world tours. But we need to allocate these support departments over to those operating departments. Well, here's how we do it. Let's do administration first. We've got four hundred thousand and two hundred and fifty thousand. Let me move this off. And you can see how we do administration. We see that we've got 55,000 divided by 132,000. Okay, the 55,000 is the budgeted administrative salaries that relate to domestic tours and world tours. Okay, so that gives us an allocation base that we can use to allocate the administrative cost of the support departments. So we take 55 divided by the total, 55 and 77 is 132, and whatever percentage that is, we multiply it times that 400,000 of admin cost. And that's how we come up with the portion that needs to go to domestic tours, and then we use the 77,000 divided by the 132,000 to come up with world tours. Okay, next we use this exact same approach to break out the 250,000 of information technology and figure out how much that of that needs to go to domestic tours and world tours. So here we see uh, we're using IT service hours as the base. We've got 2,200 for domestic, 1,200 for world tour tours. So if we add them together, that's 3,400. The ratio of 2,200 to 3,400, or percentage, times the 250,000 of the support department cost for information technology would get allocated to domestic tours, and then we take the, uh, the 1,200 hours, budgeted IT service hours, divided by 3,400, the total between domestic and world tours, times the 250,000 of support overhead cost taken from right here. That gets us what would go to world tours. So, to answer part one under the, uh, uh, the direct method, uh, what are the total overhead costs of the operating departments? Well, we start off with what was already budgeted for them directly, and then we allocate those support costs accordingly, and we have the totals right here. Now, it tells us when we're done with this, the total cost to account for would be the sum of those, and sure enough, that's the sum 3790. So we always know what the total must be uh, before we do the allocation so we can check our work. Okay, now I've put the step-down answer down here. So the step-down approach is a little bit different. First we list what the department overhead costs are, right? The 400, the 250, the million three, and the 1.8. And we've got the support costs and then the operating units. And then we consider the administration, and we're going to allocate this proportionally based on the percentage of support that was work furnished by administration. So we would have to have this budgeted before we could begin. And sure enough, they give us 88, 55, 77. We calculate the percentages. So we just take 40% of it assign it to IT, 25% to domestic, and 35% uh, uh, times world tours. We do the same thing with information technology, 
breaking it out by 55 and 30. Now what's interesting here is you see that IT, um, IT is only allocated to the domestic and world tours. In other words, you don't go backwards. Even though we had 15% of IT supporting administration, if we've already allocated administration, then we just proceed with IT to the operating department. So even though it's 55, 30, and 15, we actually just take it 55 divided by uh, 85% and 30% divided by 85%. You can see the calculations being done here, you know, or you use the hours, which essentially is the same result. Okay, and then again, when we're done, the total cost account is the 3,790,000, just as we saw here. Okay, now on the third approach, part C here, the step down method, we're going to do IT first. So all we're doing is reversing the order. So IT then gets allocated, and now it gets allocated 15%, 55 and 30%, and we're allocating the 250000 So you see that calculation. And then now the admin cost would, would be allocated based on 55 divided by 132, the total of 55 and 77000 and then 77000 So you see it's the same approach, only the orders changed. And when we're done, we've still uh, uh, accounted for the 3790000 the total uh, that we need to, to account for. Okay, and finally we explore the reciprocal method. Now I've got the solution off to the side. Now this reciprocal method uh, takes the most amount of mathematics to come up with the solution. First you have to come up with the reciprocal equations. So in this case, uh, for administration, we've got 400,000 plus 15 percent of IT, right? Administration uh, total cost would be 400,000 plus 15 percent of the IT cost. And then IT would be equal to 250,000 plus that 40 percent of uh, the administrative cost. So those are our reciprocal equ equations that we're going to use. We only have uh, two support departments. And then you've got to solve the equations. Okay, you've got to work, work through it. So um, we've got 400,000 plus 15 percent IT. Uh, and then we plug in the other equation for IT into the calculation and we can solve for AD. So this is just basic algebra uh, to come up with the, the, the total support departments that would go to AD. Then, then once we know the AD amount, we plug it in and we solve for IT. All right, so once we know that, we know that a, the administrative cost, 465, 426, we're going to allocate that amount. And the 436, 170, we're going to allocate that. So we enter this as a negative because we know we have to work down to zero. And then we just uh, apply what we know. 40, 25, and 35 percent are what would go to the administrative departments, right? We've got so much going to IT, so much going to domestic, so much going to world. We've got the same percentages to consider for the IT, how much going to administration, how much going to domestic and world, and we multiply it by those various amounts. When we're done, we'll be left with no cost in admin, no cost in IT, and we've, we've successfully allocated um, uh, the support cost using the reciprocal method, okay? And when we're done, of course, the total cost will still be that 379, uh, 3790000 All right, so this is kind of a longer presentation, but it does show uh, the three different ways in two different orders of the step-down method uh, of allocating support costs.